Okay, ladies and gentlemen, back with the one wheel, two wheels, we are heading to Triumph for a test ride on a Street Triple 765RS. Never ever done a test ride before, so I don't know how it works, I don't know whether they come out with me or whether I'm just left to my own devices for a little while. <coughs> So yeah, we shall go and find out. So, when I bought my bike, I didn't test ride it because I had many months of recovery. I had booked my CBT and then that's when I had my accident on the unicycle, so I broke eight bones. So I didn't get to uh, do my CBT when I wanted to. I had to postpone it until I had recovered. So uh, I did research, I sat on my computer on my sofa with my broken bones and uh, yeah I just researched and researched and researched and yeah best in class was obviously the MT-09 and uh, I mean I love the MT-09 anyway. I do prefer the generation before my one, I just prefer the look, I prefer the twin headlights and the, the Bumblebee-esque transformer style look of it and still this one does still look like a transformer but it's a cyclops transformer so i just prefer the look of the old one um that's all you know i i never rid i've never ridden the older version the the, the series two um so i don't know whether it's any different to this one but I preferred the amount of technology that came on this one, being a new rider, and this being my first bike. It was this, or the XSR, or even the MT-07. So yeah, I ended up settling for this. And I bought the SP, not that I'd uh, ever used the amount of suspension and the quality of suspension that this has. I just bought the SP because I preferred the look and because I had the money and because I am planning on doing some track days <coughs> so it's better to have the better suspension I'm one of these people that always buys the best that they can afford you know I will try and buy the better edition the top of the range you know if I can afford it, then I will buy that version, you know, I'll buy the special version, I'll buy the version with the uh, the better suspension. You know, I'll research TVs if I'm going to buy a TV, I normally stick to Samsung, that was a bumblebee, I don't know whether you heard that, but that banged off the helmet. Jesus Christ. <coughs> So yeah, I do try and research what I can afford and if I need to stretch my budget a little bit then I'll try to so that I can afford the best that I can afford. But yeah, kind of excited about this, never ridden any other bikes so I, I uh, obviously did my CBT on a little cheap Honda 125 um, and then I did my full thing on a Kawasaki 650 and then I bought this. Uh, oh, forget, I hired a GSX-125. Uh, for a week to just get used to riding around on the roads. Uh, so yeah, they're the bikes that I've ridden. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. Um, just to see what it's like riding a different bike. Oh, it's been raining. I got wet this morning. I had to take a little trip to the computer shop and drop off my Alienware Alpha, which is a little mini computer. Uh, apparently the uh, the internal battery has uh, given up the ghost. So it won't boot. Turns on and I get a little red ring of death. So yeah, I dropped that off. Uh, it's probably something that I can fix myself. But... The guys seem very reasonable at their pricing and uh, why do it yourself when you can just give it to someone that really knows what they're doing? I ain't got a clue, I'll just be watching a YouTube video and following along. So give it to them guys for a reasonable price, they will sort it out. <coughs> if there's anything else wrong with it, they will ring me and let me know. 
which is all good because I need that because Netflix are tossers first of all they stopped me mum watching me Netflix so she's had to sign up on her own which is fair enough you know I'm I'm gifting her a free watch of Netflix and yeah I can understand that but last night I went upstairs to the bedroom I turned on my little Samsung TV well I say little it's a 46 inch TV in my bedroom went on Netflix everything works I select what I want to watch no you're not allowed to do that you can't watch this on this format it's like what hang on why not no it just says you're not allowed to use your samsung telly and your netflix app to watch netflix anymore i'm like this is a piss take so yeah obviously i've had this little alien wear alpha for years it's great it was great and then it it just didn't work anymore it stopped working um and so I put it in a box when I moved and I've never got it out of the box so <coughs> seeing as Netflix are being tossers I suppose I ought to get it fixed so that I can use my PC in my bedroom now so yeah that's the plan get that fixed so I get it back next week sometime they're going to give me a call providing they can do it they can fix it if it is just a battery fairly simple uh, yeah, so I'll be able to watch me things in the bedroom. Oi, that was a hell of a bump. <coughs> oh. Yeah, so that'll be nice to have a PC in the bedroom again. I do love my PC. My PC in my living room does everything. It's a gaming PC. Um, but yeah, it's it's getting old, you know. It's still great, it's got a 1080 Ti, it's got a 770 um, i7 processor in it. So it's a, it's a pretty damn good PC for, well, when I bought it, it was fucking top of the range, it was sick. But now, yeah, it's a little bit old, little bit tired. So I went on PC Specialist the other day and I spec'd up a PC as to what I would require to play the games that I'd like to play. Now I play VR as well, so that automatically means you're going to have to buy an expensive PC. There's no way getting, getting a cheap PC that will run VR. Um, so yeah, I, I, I spec'd up my PC and it comes in at just over £4,000. £4,000! Four thousand pound buy me an R1. Four thousand pound would buy me a Jixa. It'd buy me a lot, a lot, a lot of nice things. So I mean, I'm so <coughs> my car is dead. It has been dead for a few years. I love my car. I'm really f struggling to bring myself to getting rid of it because uh, so I can fix it. There is a way of fixing it. It's not going to be cheap um, and it'll mean me and my mate doing a lot of the mechanic works now I'm not a professional mechanic mechanic I've got no qualifications in it don't get me wrong I have rebuilt the engine in my car and it did work for a little while and then it died again uh, they believe that there's something wrong with the crank but that's all by the by anyway because I no longer own the bottom half of the engine all I've got is the head uh, <coughs> that's a story for a different day but the idea is that I was going to sell my car put some money towards it and get a really nice Honda Civic EP3 Type R because I want to do track days now I'm a gamer as I just said I like my PCs now on uh, one of my games uh, uh, there's a track called Lydon Hill which is in Kent and I love the track it's fantastic it's a great little track um, very old it's been there for donkey's years and so I set about seeing how fast I can go around Lydon Hill on the computer in VR uh, and in the specific class that I was in the track day class um, I became number one in the world at traveling around this track it was something like 29 28 seconds or something I could do the lap of this tracking 
So yeah, now I want to know is if I got a car that was reasonably good at going around a track. So a Honda Civic's fantastic. They're, they're bulletproof. They're, their engines are really strong. Two litre engine. Um, gearbox is really good, really strong. My mate's banging on about, oh, if you get one, you'll have to turbo it, blah, blah, blah. No, I won't. It's 200 horsepower. It's not the most powerful thing. It's front wheel drive. Um, but my concern is to make sure that it is solid it's not going to blow up it's going to keep running and it's going to do you know days and days fun fun days filled of track driving so it'll be like yeah decent tires decent suspension uh maybe an exhaust maybe an air filter um you know not a lot of mods just just handling mods basically maybe take out the the, the bucket seats that are in it because they've got factory bucket seats but they're not fit for a harness so maybe strip out the internals make it as light as possible add some buckets and harnesses with a harness bar so yeah that's the idea behind the Civic is to go and have some fun on track but it means getting rid of the Sora well it doesn't mean getting rid of the Sora but where the Sora is it's at my work and it's kept in the yard and it's it's just sitting there rotting so yeah the time is fast approaching to get rid of the Sora and get a track car and go and have some fun but anyway we are nearly at our destination very fun times we're 10 minutes early which is fine, I'm sure they won't mind. But yeah, let's go do this, have a bit of fun, see what these 765s are all about, seeing as they're the best selling bike for many years. Ugh.